So I went to see Drive Away Dolls last night, and if you can't tell from my facial expression and tone, I am very, very sad. Before I get into the movie, let me just say, this woman right here, stick to being married to a great filmmaker. Never attempt what he does ever again for the love of everything that is holy. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get into plot. Plot. The movie opens with Pedro Pascal getting stabbed in the throat and decapitated over a briefcase. It is as funny as it sounds, but it's immediately undercut by two lesbians violently having sex. Do I have an issue with lesbian couples or sex in film? Most certainly not, but it depends on context. I paid to see a comedy. Not only do I not find that to be absurd or funny, I just see it as two lesbians eating each other out. The rest of the movie is the trailer stretched to feature length. I wish there was more to report. There is simply not. They drive to Tallahassee with the briefcase, and they're chased by cops. The end. Also, if you're epileptic, there's a high chance you might die. There's about five or six sequences where Miley Cyrus shows up out of nowhere in this psychedelic-infused mess. Each time, it lasts about 20 seconds, and you just want to die. And the briefcase contains dildos. You better laugh now, because if you don't, guess what? You're going to be some type of pissed in that theater. That's it. That's the whole movie. The only other thing I didn't mention is this name, however you pronounce that, and Margot Qualey's character become an item. There are two funny sequences in total, both of which are near the end. I mean, the entire film is essentially Margot Qualey, like in terms of comedy, Margot Qualey expressing how she came the last time she was with a lesbian partner. That is, that's essentially the script of comedy. That's the depth. Don't watch it. I'd like to cover one more movie before I sign off, just to nail the point I've been trying to make on my channel home. The movie is titled Miller's Girl, and it stars that girl that was lucky enough to be in that movie with Mia Goth. But in her defense, that's not the reason this movie's terrible. The reason is due to this woman right here. Her name is Jade Bartley. She was originally supposed to write the Doctor Strange sequel. It fell through due to COVID, but it wouldn't be a shocker if some of her ideas stuck, considering what we've already seen and what you're fixing to see. That being said, why am I doing this? It's to cover art films in theaters and on VOD and propose you the question. If you were given X amount of dollars, a pen and paper, and a camera, do you honestly believe you'd make something worse? Now, I originally was gonna go scene by scene with this movie, but now that I'm seething because I've watched the rest of it, let's just hop right in. The movie begins with how I'd assume Jenna Ortega would start to write a book, which is typing, you know, one or two letters, realizing she has absolutely nothing to say, and then going, <laughs> Now, you may be wondering why I'm seething, and the reason is simple. As you've noticed and I've noticed, Every movie that gets released at theater stars a perfect looking person. The cast used to be secondary to the script, but evidently times have changed. And although you could say, oh, it's just to draw a bigger crowd, yes, it's true, it does. But I believe the reason they do it now is much more sinister. The first film I covered featured graphic lesbian sex for the entire runtime. The cast consisted of nothing but gay men behind the scenes, and this movie is a direct promotion of pedophilia and thirsting old men. The girls who engaged them in the movie then view those men as creeps or desperate eventually, and just as in Driveaway Dolls, become a lesbian couple together. Regardless of what message or words exit Jenna Ortega's mouth at the end is irrelevant. The cast looks flawless, and the sexual tension is constantly present. First draft, don't think it's new. Honey, honey, I've got to drop something off at a student's house. Get me some tampons while you're at it, right? Organic ones if you can find them. Mm -hmm. Not you, obviously, Amy. F Get me a better deal, and then you can plug my. F you. It's not too Regardless of what they're trying to sell me as the true message is irrelevant. The repercussions are obvious. I don't have to provide evidence. Three-time Ostrander winner. He just finished playing Edmund and Lear. It's sure to get him his fourth. <laughs> it is my intention to escape you. Heterosexual men are going to be a rarity soon due to these assholes. Actions have repercussions, clearly. And I'm not a fan. Jen is terrible as usual. She has one facial expression. It's called look sexy. And her tears are about as genuine as Trump's hair. F off!